The paper, titled, Self-Assembly of Core Shell Hybrid Nanoparticles by Directional Crystallization of Grafted Polymers, investigates the self-assembly of inorganic-organic hybrid materials using poly 2 isopropyl 2 oxazoline hyprox as a crystallizable shell grafted onto silicon oxide nanoparticles. The researchers aim to understand how ligands, in this case, the grafted polymers, can play a primary role in the formation of hybrid nanostructures. The standard approach to nanoparticle self-assembly involves grafting ligands onto the nanoparticle surfaces to control interparticle interactions. However, in this study, the researchers focus on the primary role of the grafted polymers in the formation of hybrid materials. By varying the piprox grafting density, the researchers can control the solution stability and nanoparticle aggregation behavior. Upon prolonged heating, anisotropic nanostructures form in conjunction with the crystallization of the ligands. The self-assembly of the hybrid nanoparticles proceeds in two steps. Rapid formation of amorphous aggregates via gelation mediated by the interaction between nanoparticles through grafted polymers, followed by slow radial growth of fibers via directional crystallization governed by the incorporation of crystalline ribbons formed from unbound polymers coupling to the grafted polymer shell. The researchers use various characterization techniques, such as X-ray diffraction, infrared spectroscopy, and transmission electron microscopy, to analyze the crystallization process and the resulting hybrid nanostructures. They also perform molecular dynamic simulations to understand the self-assembly mechanism and the role of directional crystallization in the formation of the observed structures. The authors emphasize that their work reveals the potential of crystallization-driven self-assembly of ligands in creating intricate hybrid nanostructures. They suggest that this bottom-up approach could be further developed to control the morphology and properties of hybrid materials for various applications. Figure 1 in the scientific paper shows a schematic representation of the synthesis of Piprox C. Oit, three core shell hybrid nanoparticles. The figure illustrates the grafting of poly, 2 isopropyl 2 oxazoline Piprox, as a crystallizable shell onto silicon oxide nanoparticles. The process involves the covalent bonding of piprox onto silicon oxide nanoparticles using a grafting to approach. Two batches of piprox with different degrees of polymerization, DP, are prepared, and the resulting piprox chains are shown to have narrow dispersity and good agreement between theoretical and empirical molar mass. The piprox C, OIT, three nanoparticles are characterized using size exclusion chromatography, SEC and 1H nuclear magnetic resonance, NMR, spectroscopy. The significance of figure 1 to the paper is that it provides a visual representation of the synthesis of the core shell hybrid nanoparticles used in the study. It demonstrates the successful grafting of piprox onto silicon oxide nanoparticles and sets the stage for the investigation of the self-assembly and crystallization behavior of these hybrid nanoparticles. The figure highlights the importance of the piprox shell in controlling the aggregation behavior and the potential for the formation of intricate hybrid nanostructures. Figure 2 of the paper shows the schematic depiction of the self-assembly process of the piprox CO2 core shell nanoparticles. The figure illustrates the two-step process of self-assembly. Rapid formation of amorphous aggregates via gelation mediated by the interaction between nanoparticles through grafted polymers followed by slow radial growth of fibers via directional crystallization governed by the incorporation of crystalline ribbons formed from unbound polymers coupling to the grafting polymer shell. The significance of figure 2 is that it provides a visual representation of the self-assembly mechanism of the core shell hybrid nanoparticles. It shows how the crystallization of the piprox ligands can drive the formation of intricate hybrid nanostructures. The figure demonstrates the importance of ligand order and the role of the piprox shell in the self-assembly process. The results shown in figure 2 indicate that the self-assembly of the hybrid nanoparticles proceeds in a controlled manner, resulting in the formation of well-defined anisotropic superstructures. The formation of nano-ribbons and the interaction of these ribbons with the nanoparticles lead to the generation of arms or tentacles decorated with CO2 nanoparticles. Overall, Figure 2 provides valuable insights into the self-assembly process of the core shell hybrid nanoparticles and highlights the role of crystallization in creating complex nanostructures. 
Figure 3 in the paper shows the time-dependent solution stability of the core shell hybrid nanoparticles during prolonged heating at 65 degrees Celsius. The figure includes graphs representing the transmittance values of different samples with varying grafting densities of piprox, poly, 2 isopropyl 2 oxazoline chains onto silicon oxide nanoparticles. The samples were heated for different durations, and the transmittance values were measured to assess the solution stability. The significance of figure 3 is that it demonstrates the effect of grafting density on the solution stability of the core shell hybrid nanoparticles during heating. It shows that samples with higher grafting densities exhibited better stability, with no significant precipitation observed even after prolonged heating. On the other hand, samples with lower grafting densities showed signs of precipitation and agglomeration. This result indicates that the grafting density of piprox chains onto the CO2 nanoparticles plays a crucial role in controlling the formation of stable hybrid nanostructures. Higher grafting densities promote better dispersion and prevent agglomeration, leading to the formation of intricate anisotropic superstructures. The figure suggests that the self-assembly process proceeds through two steps. The rapid formation of amorphous aggregates via gelation, mediated by the interaction between nanoparticles through the grafted polymers, followed by the slow radial growth of fibers via directional crystallization. Overall, figure 3 emphasizes the importance of ligand properties, such as grafting density, in the self-assembly of hybrid nanoparticles and provides insights into the formation of complex hybrid nanostructures. Figure 4 of the paper shows the time-dependent solution stability of Piprox CO2 core shell hybrid nanoparticles with different grafting densities, 0.1, 0.3, 1, and 3 chains per square nanometer, upon prolonged heating at 65 degrees Celsius. The figure consists of four panels, each representing a different grafting density. The stability of the solutions is measured by monitoring the transmittance of the samples over time. The significance of figure 4 is that it demonstrates the effect of grafting density on the solution stability of the core shell hybrid nanoparticles during heating. It shows that samples with higher grafting densities exhibit a higher stability against sedimentation and precipitation compared to samples with lower grafting densities. This indicates that the grafting density can control the aggregation behavior of the nanoparticles during the heating process. These findings have implications for the self-assembly of complex nanostructures using core shell hybrid nanoparticles as building blocks. Higher grafting densities can provide better control over the formation of anisotropic superstructures through directional crystallization. Closing parenthesis. Overall, these results suggest that the self-assembly of anisotropic superstructures is governed by multiple mechanisms including the aggregation of nanoparticles mediated by the grafted polymers and the interaction of particles with nano-ribbons formed from free piprox. The formation of the central nodes and the arms decorated with CO2 nanoparticles highlights the potential of these hybrid materials for the controlled and stepwise directional assembly and solution into 2D or 3D structures. The study investigated the self-assembly of core shell hybrid nanoparticles into anisotropic superstructures using the directional crystallization of poly, 2 isopropyl 2 oxazoline piprox, in aqueous solution. The aggregation behavior of the nanoparticles was characterized using electron microscopy and molecular dynamic simulations. The results showed the formation of different assembly structures depending on the grafting density and size of the core. The self-assembly mechanism involved the formation of central nodes through piprox crystallization and the formation of arms through the interaction of nanoparticles with nanoribbons. The presence of physically bound polymeric chains and prolonged heating were found to be crucial for the formation of the observed structures. The study demonstrates the potential of core shell hybrid nanoparticles for the controlled and stepwise assembly of anisotropic hybrid materials. Further optimization of the shell composition is needed for future investigations. If you are an author or copyright holder for the work presented in this video and you have any issue with the existence or contents of this video, please let me know.